Next one is browsing. Browsing, we got the Omni bar. Let's start with that, Omni bar. An address bar, some navigation buttons and a few tabs. Sounds familiar, right? The address bar does what you'd expect, plus a little more. You can type in web addresses like www.google.com, but you can also enter searches and website names, and the address bar will show suggestions as you type. That little bit more is why we call it the Omnibox, which in my opinion is great, by the way. Uh, the star. The star bookmarks the current page. Now, if you know anything about Chrome, the browser, you know a lot of this, so I'm just, you know, going over it because it's in this getting started thing here. Um, back, forward, reload. The back, forward, and reload buttons do what you'd expect, but you can also hold down the back or forward buttons to see pages you visited before. That's something I didn't know. If you don't want to click, just press the back, forward, and reload keys on the keyboard. Tabs. Then you've got tabs. Click the plus sign to open a new tab, or just press Control T. I think clicking the plus sign is easier. Uh, you can easily reorder your tabs by clicking and dragging them into position. As you cycle through your tabs, enjoy Google Talk on your Google Notebook, which lets you keep chatting uninterrupted. That way, you don't have to switch back and forth between your tabs while, insert your friend's name here, is typing. So I'm actually going to have to try that Google Talk out because it's, a, it's sort of like a Skype app. So I hear, on a side note, I hear that Skype doesn't work on this, uh, but Skype is actually moving to a web app, which is actually going to be very interesting, browser-based. So uh, Next thing, we've got pin tabs. If there are pages you use all the time, you can pin them in place so they'll stay put. Right-click the tab. Remember, put two fingers on the touchpad and push down, and select Pin Tab. That's actually going to be great, because that way you can open up all the windows that you normally use all the time. Next one, Download Tray. If you have to download a file, it will appear in the download tray at the bottom right corner of your screen. For now, this tray simply lists your download files, or downloaded files, and lets you view some of them like PDFs on the web. If you've ever needed to open the tray, click the wrench and select Downloads or press Control J. So basically, on this computer, the wrench is your go-to up here for anything that you don't see up here on the, on the screen. Next one, Chrome Web Store. The web today contains a lot more than just information. It also it's also full of useful applications that let you edit photos, listen to music, play games, and much more. Knowing this, we designed your Chrome Notebook to run web apps, and we built the Chrome Web Store so you can easily discover them. To get to the Chrome Web Store, click the Web Store icon on the new tab page. Instantly, you can browse apps, read reviews, and start using them. Once you've installed an app, it appears in your new tab page. So let's go click up here on the new tab page here. And there we go. We've got apps here. We've got Get Started, Entanglement. I don't know if that's a game or not. YouTube, Google Maps, Pop It, which is a game. Scratchpad, Web Store, right there, Web Store. Gmail and Google Talk. So these are all your apps here. And they appear on your new tab page. Okay. Let's go to Themes and Extensions. The Web Store also has themes, which let you personalize the look and feel of your browser, and extensions, which add useful features to your browser. Uh, as I said before, I have a Google Chrome to Phone extension already installed up here. For instance, there are extensions that provide useful alerts and notifications, let you easily access your favorite news sources, and enable you to browse photos, get directions, and shop faster. Now this next one is very interesting to me. Printing. Have paper will print. Printing in the clouds. With your Chrome notebook, you can print without any drivers or cables by using Google Cloud Print. Google Cloud Print supports two types of printers. 
Google Cloud Ready printers are optimized for your Google account. Just following the manufacturer's instructions to sign into your printer using your Google account and you can start printing by selecting print from the wrench menu or pressing control P. Visit google.com slash cloudprint for a list of Google Ready printers. All right, now that I will have to do because that interests me a lot. Printing on Earth. You can also print to existing printers as long as they're plugged into a computer running Windows that is connected to the Internet. Okay, that's an interesting little snag there. Mac and Linux will be supported in the future. Simply go to your PC, visit google.com slash cloudprint, and follow the instructions to set up your printer with Google Cloud Print. Once that's done, you can print from your Chrome notebook by clicking print from the wrench menu or pressing control P. Interesting. Next thing, guest mode. Now, if you saw my previous video, I already put my toe into the guest mode there. Uh, guest mode, friends let, friends let friends sign in. Your account. When you sign into your Chrome notebook, you're instantly connected to all your favorite Google services like Gmail. But what happens if you want to let your friend browse the web without letting him see all of your personal email and appointments? That's an easy job for guest mode. Guest mode. In guest mode, your friend can browse the web freely but can't access your email or other personal data. And once he signs out, you can't access his stuff either. It's only fair. All traces of his browsing are erased from the system. To let a friend use guest mode, sign out of your account by clicking the wrench icon and selecting sign out and then click guest on the sign in page. When your friend has finished browsing, he can sign out the same way to clear all of his browsing information. And finally, happy trails. Now you're prepared to travel the web with your Chrome notebook. If you ever need more help, just click the wrench icon and select help. Cheers. Well, that was very cool. I like that. And that pretty much does it for this video. So if I come across anything new, I will report it to you.